Hello my friends, do you miss me, sure not? In this video we are going to talk about the Airbrush. The Airbrush is a the wonderful... Airbus is cheating. It's a wonderful tool that is going to help you a lot in your miniature painting. If you use it only for priming or make the first light and then the start He's painting cheating, with I the brush. I'm going to show you how I use it and give you some tips that I He's hope cheating, you find cheating, it. Cheating, how cheating. How in the madre? If you are starting in miniature painting, the question is when you should buy the airbrush. My advice is as soon as possible you realize it's a hobby that you like. That can be in a week, that can be in a month, two months or six months. But it's a tool that you must get as soon as possible. Because you are going to use it at least for priming, for make a light or even to create a base tone on your miniature. This was my first Airbus. It's an Airbus that cost around 30 euros and I use it for around 10 years. I always wonder what happens with an 200 euros or more expensive Airbus. So after 10 years I buy this one. This one is a copy of this one or whatever. So this is 30 euros, this is 200 euros. Near eight times more expensive. I can paint eight times better with this one or this one? The answer is no. Maybe I can paint 1.3 times, 1.4 times, 1.5. Not far, not much, not much. After that, I get this one and I feel this one is a better, a little bit better than this one. This is an Infinity, this is an Iwata HPC Plus. Uh, and I, so my advice here is forget, if you are started, forget these two Airbrush and buy one of those. It's a dual action Airbrush that if you push down, throw air, and if you th push back the trigger, throws pain. Generally speaking, you always have to dilute the paint in the Airbrush. Okay, you can use water or you can use thinner, the thinner of the paint you are using. Okay. First of all, we add the thinner, okay, a couple of drops, no more. We are going to drop the paint. This is a regular paint, not a special airbrush paint. This is a regular paint from AK. Now, I drop the paint one and two drops, okay? Now, with an old brush, we remove. I like to close the air flow and shot paint to make bubbles to mix it better, okay? I recommend you to have a piece of paper and make the first shot outside. And now, before, before to shot the miniature, we are going to check if we did the dilution cor correctly, the dilution of paint correctly. Sometimes the airbrush makes a lot of dot, especially in white. So it's better to test it before shot our miniature. Okay, I think it's okay to be white. But for example, if we feel that makes more dots, we only have to add more thinner, okay? And mix it. This is with more thinner. And let's check again. And let's here compare it with that one. More thin, no much dot. Okay, I think it's okay. It's okay. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I clean this paint to add another kind of paint. Okay, as you see, 
I got here a trash can, a rubbish or whatever you call in your country. And this is an old bottle full of water. Okay? Now, I shot the, I shot the rest of the paint here. Here. I add water. I bubble it a little bit. I throw it. I throw it with the natural speed or water. We can use the brush to clean the inside. Okay, with the with the finger, it's okay. We bubble a little bit. We throw it. We throw it again. And the airbrush is ready for the next paint. Okay, now in the same shot. We can choose another color, for example, I don't know, red, okay, this one, vermilion, move it, okay, drop off thinner, okay, some paints require more thinner than others, you are going to learn this with the practice, okay, now let's put it here, this color is very beautiful. One and two drops. Okay. Okay, let's test here. Okay, here, che check this out. It makes a little bit of Let's see. No, I think it's okay. Okay, if you think it's made much stuff, we can add a little bit more. Okay, two drops. Mix it with the brush. And we can mix it more. We shot hard outside, okay, and now let's check again. Okay, I think works works good. We can make thin lines. Okay, back in the black. We got a black surface here and a white surface here. And check this. The paint used to be weak and some colors cover more than another. So, if we want vivid color, it's better to shot over white. If the paint gets wet, we only have to shot air and dry it. Okay, now it's dry. Now we can continue. Now I dry with the air of the airbrush and continue, dry. And continue. Right. If you insist in the wet paint, you are going to move the paint. Okay, so don't insist. Check this. I insist, it's getting wet, it's getting wet, it's getting wet, and it is moving, and you get this horrible result. So be patient. Throw the paint, throw the paint, and drive right here. Throw the paint, dry, throw the paint, dry, throw the paint, dry. Okay, air, paint, air, paint, air, paint. Okay, now time to clean again. Okay, now we are going to do much more deeper clean. Okay, we shoot the excess. Okay, now we have water. With the brush, we clean the deep of the cup. Shot a little bit, bubble, shot a little bit more, throw it, shot everyone, and then we can do two times more because we are going to store all our errors. More, throw, throw, throw. Okay, okay, more, more drops. Here you can mix a little bit of water with alcohol 
ethylic alcohol that help you to clean your airbrush but okay shot and this air airbrush is ready to store the magical trash can and the air com compressor there is a lot of brand you can use whatever you want this pressure is the pressure of the air inside here and this pressure is the pressure in the airbrush so I always tend to paint around 2 bar 30 psi I always use the same pressure okay safety instructions always use at least an FPP2 mask and if you have a window you should open it okay if you don't have a window you always must wear this mask you even can use this air purifier okay so that's everything Bueno, espero que os haya gustado el vídeo y como habéis visto, un vídeo más sin hablar en español. Soy la vergüenza del país, pero, pero, tengo una solución para esto y si os esperéis un poco lo vais a ver en unos segundos. Eh, si queréis apoyar al canal, considerad la opción de uniros al Patreon, donde podéis encontrar más de 200 vídeos, 150 PDFs y un montón de cosas más. Así es que, hasta el próximo vídeo. Well, I hope you liked the video, and as you have seen, one more video without speaking in Spanish. I am the shame of the country, but I have a solution for this, and if you wait a little, you will see it in a few seconds. If you want to support the channel, consider the option of joining Patreon, where you can find more than 200 videos, 150 PDFs, and a lot of other things.